up guys, your boy Rollamons here with some SND tips, spots, tricks, and even routes. Um, if you have not seen the first video, the first video was on Riot. It's probably not going to be as good as this one because you can't, there's not that many good spots on Riot. But uh, this one I think I got a few tricks up my sleeve. Let's go ahead and get started. This is a good rush route me and my doubles partner actually do. I tell him to watch Cross as he grabs Bomb. I'll throw on the overclock and I'm just going to full out rush it. I could see mid as I go like that. If he calls out cross, he's watching cross to B, by the way. So he could see B from up top of that roof building. If he calls out E cross, 90% chance he's going to go by this window. So I preem the window. If he challenges me, I'm most likely going to get him. Because I said, he knows. I know he's there. He doesn't know I'm there. So I have an advantage over him. And if I don't, if he says he crosses, but I don't see him there, so I'll preem. And then I'll just go ahead and turn on dead silence because I have overclock and dead silence on this class when I do it. I'll come over here, just rush right through the middle, come behind him, kill him here, or it'll be behind here, somewhere in the general area. You'll get a free kill. Nobody really expects it. Nobody really watches the middle of the map. I done it in a 4v4 actually, three rounds in a row, and it helped us win a tournament. Very, 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 very good strat right there, especially for 2v2s. So go ahead and give that. Alright, here's some quick spots I figured out myself in a private match. They are hard to get into. Like I said, on repeat, they are hard to get into, but if you master it, props to you go ahead and use them but i actually use a spot right here with an imr i was able to get some kills you watch thin map b bomb school uh back blue wall you can see into garage you can see pretty much anything from here. you can see back day from here so this is a good power position like i said they are hard to get into so um they take a lot of time there is also another one right back here you just jump up onto and you can actually watch your back an A-bomb. You can hear the bomb. I'm pretty sure you can hear the bomb. Not 100% sure. You can go ahead and check it out. Tell me if it does. Go ahead and comment in the video. Let me know. But yeah, it's a really good position. Like I said they are hard to get into. I'm just getting lucky, I guess. But you have to jump right into here. There's also another one right behind me. Directly right behind me, right here. That you can actually hop into as well. This one's really good. You can see all the mid-map. And then for the third one, believe it or not, you can actually watch it from here. This one's really hard to get into, but once you do, it's really badass. I have to admit. There you go. You can see all the maps, school, blue wall, atlas. You can even see a medic a little bit, but if you plant B, let's say, all right, let's imagine. It's a 1v2. Uh, uh, me and my buddy are up. We got bomb planted. I just tell him hide. Land the corner, I could see if he goes by bomb or anywhere. I could see if he goes through school or blue wall to school by that crack. I could see if he crawls in, and I could just tell him if he's yo, he went to B bomb, he might have to check it or whatever. But yeah, it's an awesome spot. Um, definitely recommend that one. But like I said, they're really hard to get into, so if you're not that great at it, I wouldn't recommend trying. All right, I think that's it for spots and tricks in this uh, map. There's not that many, but they are very unique. Um, I could show you guys a few frag spots I actually used in fours or twos or ones. You want to go ahead and jump up and dolphin dive in this corner. Get in the corner. You want to be standing up. Standing up. Not ducking, not laying down. Standing up. Put your bottom crosshair on the very bottom tip of the building. And then what you want to do is just chuck the grenade. You want you don't want to jump. You don't want to cook it. You just want to chuck it. What you do is go all the way above the building. Sorry, I can't get into a door. All the way above the building, it will land right in front of here. So if anybody's rushing A, they're pretty much dead, or a head glitch in this, watch over the guys planning, they are pretty much dead. So it's a really good nade. I try it out myself, and I get a few kills here and there. Um, all right, another good nade spot here is on whenever you're first spawning on offense, you want to try to get a pickup kill. I got many kills doing this um, in 4v4s. Uh, actually helped me out a lot, is you want to rush into this corner, just get in this corner, and then you want to preem at this yellow bar, the bottom right hand side of it. And then you just want to chuck your grenade, not throw it, not cook it, I mean, not jump, just throw it. It has to be a frag grenade too. I never try to send text, but frags seem to do the best. Um, oh, whoa. Okay. Yeah, and it lands directly right here. So anybody that is rushing A like a maniac trying to go in here, and try and go like this and get in here. It will blow them up or if anybody's just trying to run past through this generic area even over here you might get a lucky fail grenade and it might like hit here and bounce off and you might get a lucky nade like i said it's a 50 50 um but it got me a lot of kills it saved my ass a few times so go ahead and give that one a try a very useful spot there is a pattern in this game like an algorithm that makes you go 
as fast as you can. Instead of just going like this, speed boosting, the f you can go fastest if you do this order in order. It's like a pattern. You slide, jump, boost, slide, jump, boost, slide, jump, boost. If you do that, it's the fastest way you can travel in this game. All right, so what I do is using that technique, I, as soon as I spawn up, I pull out my knife, I slide, strafe, boost, slide, strafe, boost. I'm already in middle map. Now I'll get right here and I'll just sit here. And I can hear inside medic, so if I hear him in medic, I'll just sit like this. I don't want to peek out like an idiot. I just want to sit like this and watch him cross and get a kill. And I can see in garage. So I basically have the whole entire map control for my team. I have if he goes garage, I got if he comes mid, I can hear inside medic, so or post, whatever you want to call it hospital. But it's a really power position. Always the last me. route I finally have that I'm going to be showing you guys for the very end of the video. Uh, it is on offense, me pushing inside post. I'd switch my knife, turn it on uh, overclock, jump up, do my boost thing, get over here. I'd bump up into this. And I'll just pre-fire. You know how many kills I've gotten from people trying to be aggressive and pushing through the door. You know how many people do that if you have played this map. So I'll just pre-fire it till all my ammo is pretty much almost out. I'll reload, do the speed reload, then push, because they're probably going to be pushing you since they know you have to reload. They'll be like, what the hell? Everybody would be concentrated on you, so it's a good play for your team to go B. And oh, no, I just always pre fire it. You know how many kills I've gotten doing that, but that's a really good push. But anyways, that's the very end of this video. Sorry if it's short, but there's very unique spots and rushes you guys can use. I'm guaranteed they will help you all get the W. Um, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you can. For more, I will be uploading more YouTube videos. Thank you for watching, and I'm out.